Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about sprite sheets and how to import them, what they are, how to import them into Unity, and how to use them. So I'm going to create a new project, um, and as this thing loads up, I'll show you what a sprite sheet is. Uh, again, we're going to be using the glitch, the game assets. Uh, let's see, we will put this into project 006. Name it whatever you want. Got room for 10,000 projects. I'm pretty proud of that. Plan to get there pretty soon. Uh, I'll select this folder. <laughs> this is going to be Unity 2018 um, Sprite Sheets. And our template is going to be 2D, and we'll be off to the races. So some of the stuff I will cruise through because uh, we've talked about them in previous videos in this series. So if you get a little bit lost, maybe go back and double check some of those or just leave a comment and I'll let you know where to find it. So a sprite sheet is a uh, one image that has a whole bunch of little images inside of it. And this thing here looks like uh, it's going to do some sort of rainbow effect with this thing. If you look at the height of the blue here compared to here um, and some of the other ones, and you know, and the red is really high here, and then it's getting lower. So we're gonna have this little wave of rainbow animation coming up, I think, once we dump it in there. And so this is a good way to get some animations. What's gonna happen is we're just gonna uh, inside of Unity, it's it's built to do this. It'll just go through and play each one of these frames at a time in sequence, and it's kind of like a flipbook. So as it goes through all of these, it looks like all this stuff is moving. So that is what we are gonna do inside of our scene here. Finally opened up our main camera background color. I'm going to change it again to white just so that uh, it looks a little bit better. Here's our game tab. Beautiful. So let's bring in our sprite sheet. I'm just going to drag it in just like any other. Oops. Make sure my project tab is selected. Drag it in. There we go. This is our sprite sheet. So if I, this thing is an animation, right? Because all of these different rows and columns are frames of the animation. If I drag it into Unity like this and hit play, um, you know, this is what we've got is just one big thing. And we don't want that because each one of these frames uh, needs to be playing at the same time on top of each other, like the pages in a flipbook. And um, so let me delete this out of here. Right click, delete. And in order to do that, we got to set up a few things in Unity first. First thing we got to do is with our sprite sheet selected down here in assets, I'm going to come over here to the right and it says sprite mode is single. I'm going to change that to multiple. And that means that this one image contains multiple frames of something. And then I'll hit apply. And we're going to go to the sprite editor. And inside of the sprite editor, we've got all of our individual frames. You can see them in here. And what we need to do is select uh, an area that tells us what is frame one, what is frame two, what is frame three, frame four. And that sort of stuff. Now this can get really tedious, and if you're off by pixels, it looks really bad. But fortunately for us and for Unity, um, we can go into uh, the slice option and say uh, we have a few different types here: automatic grid by cell size, where you give the number of pixels for each grid, or grid by cell count, you give the number of rows and columns, and Unity figures it out. I'm just going to try automatic right now and see if it works. And um, it's hard. It's probably going to be really hard to see um, because of uh, it's a white line, and this is a largely transparent and light image. But there, it did make grid uh, boxes around each of our little cells here, and I think it actually looks okay. So I'm just going to hit apply on that up here. Hit apply, and okay, that looks good. Then I'll close this out, and now. If I expand this little arrow next to our um, sprite, we get all the different frames. Oops. So this is interesting. Uh, it didn't break it out correctly, and that's fine. We'll go back and take a look at it. So I'm going to drag this thing in here, and it's going to say we want to make a new animation. So I'll call this rainbow. Whoa, rainbow animation. And the automatic slicing didn't work, so it's going to look a little strange, but that's okay. We'll fix it. So now when I hit play, we see our rainbow doing things. It is moving, and then all of a sudden we have this uh, section where all three of them are on top of each other. And it kind of looks like garbage, and let's go back and fix that. That means that it was not sliced properly. Um, if I go back to our original image, 
we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. So nine rows by seven columns. And let's go try this again. We'll go into our sprite editor and I'll go to slice. We'll say by cell count, we have seven columns. Oops, not 71, seven and nine rows. And then we'll slice it that way. And then we'll apply it, clicking the little apply button right here, close it out. And now let's see what happens. There we go. And so now it is just this one little animation. And we can kind of see this rainbow moving back and forth. That's all this animation does. I'm going to change my background color in my camera just so we can see that a little bit better. Um, make it kind of darkish. And there we go. So now we have this nice little animation of these bars moving back and forth. Just gives it a little bit of, of motion, and that makes a big difference. I'm going to grab one more because that was kind of a bad animation. What do we have here? How about do you have anything that looks good? Sometimes there's some. Oh, here we go. Here's a guy uh, doing something. Bag butler doing some sort of dance. I'm going to bring this one in. And we'll go through the whole process again. I'll click on it. We come over here to the right, and sprite mode is multiple. We'll go into the sprite editor. It's going to ask us, do we want to apply these changes? Yes. And we have one, two, three, four, five rows. One, two, three, four, five columns. Slice it up. Let's just do by cell count. Five and five. Slice. Apply. OK. And we'll drag it in. We'll get our little guy, we can call it guy animation. And now if we hit play, that thing is dancing. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So he's doing a little animation. We've got this little animation thing going. And all we did, remember, is we just brought in these sprite sheets. We sliced it up, uh, dragged it into our Unity scene, and asked do we want to create an animation from it. We said yes and we were off to the races. Um, we will look at this. I'm not going to do anything with it right now because it's. Uh, I want to keep this video short. But if you go to your Animator tab, and if you don't have it, you can go to Window, Animator. It'll open it up. Um, when we hit Play, when I go to my Animator tab, you can see the progress bar of the animation. And you also see this is uh, an animation state. And we can eventually, if you want, have a whole bunch of different animation states, maybe one for idle, maybe one for walking, one for running, one for jumping, um, and all attached to the same game object. And then you transition between them with these uh, transition states. And in this case, it just says go here because we only have one state. But that's how you do that stuff, and uh, we will get to that one a little bit later. Um, but yeah, here we go. Sprite sheet animations, very uh, straightforward. Just make sure you slice them up correctly.